video today I learned how to make uh, name tags using Microsoft Word um, mail merge that I'm just going to show you so here is the mock list that I have with like some random names and last names that's probably not last names but and a group number uh, then we have our blank document that we're going to be using now to start the mail merge so to start mail merge we'll go to mailings then start mail merge and we're going to pick labels um, my labels that I've used uh, is every US letter that's what I'm going to be printing on you can search like a bunch of them um, on here based on what paper you have so just select go ahead and select what you need to select for me I'm using the 5392 name badge insert so I'm just going to press OK then you're going to see that it comes up with a box and it says choose a new existing recipient list to do that we're just going to uh, use click select recipients new list we're going to my desktop and we're going to the mock list that we can select it's going to come up with a pop-up and just click yes uh, in here you can select like the cell range or you can do the entire sheet and for me I'm just going to do the entire sheet and uh, just a note if you get an arrow um, when selecting this it may be because um, some of your fields are not filled so you might want to go ahead and make sure that everything is filled if not you can just put the cell range in and then it will work so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create our design. So for me, I wanted to include a picture in my design and it's not easy to put like a picture in mail merge and it does it for, for it to do it for all of them. So what I am going to do, I'm going to go to insert and I am going to select this part that says insert fields, go to all and then we're going to go to include picture. Now, when we get to this section, what we are gonna do, this is the picture that I have that I wanted to select inside. So I'm gonna get ahead and get the file path for this. If you're using a Mac, an easy way to get the file path is to call control. Click on the, the picture first and then hit control and then option control and then option and then you'll see over here it says copy pick as file name file path name and so we're just gonna just click on that then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna paste the um, name right there then we're gonna click OK it's gonna ask you for access and you're gonna say OK and you're gonna grant access and here is our picture to make sure that the picture actually works, what we can do is we're gonna go back to mailings and we're gonna say update, and here is our picture. Now, this is gonna be a little bit janky, but this is how I did it, and I just wanted to show you guys because I know I had a little a hard time doing it. So you're gonna go into this layout tab all the way over here, and then we're gonna do draw table, just to like separate things. Um, then we're gonna go to table design and we're gonna, I'm gonna change the shading to blue. So here is the blue shading. If you want, you can make this change this to get like a transparent picture if you want to. And then afterwards, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna take a screenshot of this small section here And I also want like another uh, line at the bottom. So what I am going to do is draw a table again. And this time I'm going to shade it into a different color down here. I'm going to do, I'm going to do orange. Oops, wrong section. Well, I'm going to make this a tad bit bigger. 
So I'm going to change it to orange. Okay, cool. After that, I'm going to go ahead and take another screenshot. And all my screenshots are normally saved to my, my desktop. And I'm going to go ahead and change this to a PNG file. So I'm going to just say top.png. And then I'm going to rename this again as um, bottom.png. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing. Oops. Cancel. We're going to just like clear everything out, back it up. <laughs> I had to start a new document. If you are not able to clear out all the cells, that's fine. So what I am going to do is go back to insert and then I am going to go over to insert picture. Then I'm going to include the, uh, the file path of the top picture first. And here we have it. Um, I normally just wrap the text tight so that it just like fills up everything. And then I'm gonna do go ahead and do that for the bottom one as well. So here's a top. We're gonna go back and then we're gonna do include picture and then gonna get the, the file path again and just gonna paste it right there and say okay I'm gonna ask to grant access okay again I'm just gonna wrap this text tight so it fits nicely right there Next, we're gonna just go back to mailings and this is where we can insert our fields. So you have the first name, oops, first name, and then the last name. Um, and uh, I'm just going to make that in the center and then I'm gonna save the group. And you can use this for like orientation, or like any company thing that you need to do basically and then after that we're just going to so to make it all go on all the pages we're going to just like update all the labels and here we have it all the names um to see like like a preview of results you can click on preview to see how it looks um, you can also go on like individual ones. So you can just go to finish and edit individual documents just in case like something weird happened. <laughs> and so here are all the names on the mail merge that you can just go ahead and print. And that's the end of this video. I hope this was really helpful to anybody out there and I was looking for something. So uh, yeah, hope you guys have a good day.